What's up, YouTube friends and family? I'm Elvis. And I'm Michelle. And today we are in Villa Rica, Georgia. Or Villa Rica, how the country people say it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's such an odd name for a place in Georgia. Like they gave it a Spanish name. Well, the name um, originates for the Spanish for rich village. That's oh, what Villa Rica okay. means. And it's there was a gold rush here. Okay. around the time that the town became incorporated. Oh, Evan's Barbecue. This is a barbecue place, but look That is so cool. I had to come here one day. I think um, the boy's brother, Avery, used to work here. Wow, that's cool. That's but, cool. Um, yeah, gold was discovered in this area in 1826. Oh, so that's where it comes from. Um, 1826 is when this town was first established, but, or settled, I'm sorry, but it was, look at that oh, Volkswagen God, bug, so cool. <laughs> but it was originally known as Hickstown. Villa Rica was originally known as Hickstown. Hickstown. Yep. Okay, so. That's where the, the brewery got its name. Okay. They have a brewery here called Hickstown Brewery. That's a music shop across the street? Um, but it was incorporated in 1830 as Hickstown, um, later incorporated as Villa Rica in 1881. So the population is right under 17,000. It's 43% white, 40% black, right at 8% Hispanic, 2.75% um, Asian, and about 6% other mixed races. The median income, you'll see all these little old, I mean, here's the little downtown area. It's not a huge downtown. There's actually another part to it that's across the railroad tracks that we'll go to in a few minutes. But um, the median income is about 72,000 for a family and it's right below 10% poverty rate. Which, you know, isn't that bad for a town this size. I mean, there's an exit here for Interstate 20. This is right off that exit. And, you know, there's a Walmart and different things a few minutes away from the downtown area. And a lot more chain restaurants and fast food restaurants. Amphitheater, so they have concerts and different things That's here, cool. and um, you know you can come bring your own chairs and enjoy whatever entertainment's going on. It's pretty cool. Yeah, side 
first. So there's Haven on Main, which is some kind of store. like an antique thrift shop kind of thing and then here's the brewing company we were talking about Hickstown Brewing Company which we're talking about the city of Bloom wow yeah that look at that nice. mural that wasn't there the last time we came no out, I've never seen this that is so nice yeah this is a cute little brewery right here we've been in there a couple of times yeah. um Some good beer yeah very nice owner yeah he's cool Go down this road, and yeah, but I kind of want to catch the front of the brewery and stuff. Oh, I okay. missed it. Look at this church, y'all. It's very oh, pretty. Nice. I think they put that sign in front of it. Oh, yeah. oh that big sign. Yeah. Sunday around lunch time, so there's a good bit of people out and about. So there's the brewery again on the left. It's just a cute little, cute little town, cute little downtown area. But we haven't been to that side either, have we? That's how we came in. No. <laughs> See this sign right here. So there's a little welcome home store, music, realty office. Oh, Sorry. A little antique shop, uncorked on Main. It's a restaurant. Yeah, I've heard really good things about yeah. that. We haven't ever been though. Yeah, we'll there. So um, it's Mark Wine. Lost, Lost Cowboys. I've eaten there one time before. It's it pretty good. Yeah.
right, but it's actually to the left in front of us. <laughs>
riding through here one day when I was doing my inspections for work. Remember I told you there was a lady punching herself in the face? Oh, yeah. I showed you a video right yeah. here. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, guys. So I was um was driving through here. I was coming to do some inspections. And um, there was this lady walking down the street. She looked like she was on drugs. And she was repeatedly punching herself in the face. I don't know what, why. But after I did my inspections and I left, you know, I was coming back down the same road. I saw her again. And she was still punching herself in the face and her face was bleeding. I just thought that. And I I, even, I, I recorded it. Yes, you did. But, <laughs> God, that was so disturbing. Just walking down the street, punching yourself in the face. With both hands, not one. bad enough I wanted to punch myself in the face maybe other people yeah. <laughs> oh wow so that building new apartments yeah. yeah oh wow a lot yeah, of it's a lot too it's, they're gonna populate this place like crazy well that's the thing the population has um I was reading something when I was writing down Damn, the demographics and beautiful. it's like really increased since the last census i mean like the population of villa Rica, it's really growing yeah. those are pretty so one of the main reasons for that is because it's off the i-20 yeah and a lot of people that live here work in atlanta this is what from atlanta 40 minutes no probably a little less because it's about 45 from carrollton so probably 30. yeah I guess this is it for the yeah, Rica, yeah. It's a nice place. I, I see why people are, are flocking here. Because Yeah, and this is just one little part, y'all, you know. Yeah. There's there's a lot more to Villa Rica than this, housing wise and neighborhoods, but definitely, yeah. This gives you a little taste of of what Villa Rica, Georgia is like. More um, housing authority yeah, and another church over there. So hope y'all enjoyed the video.